welcome to the 2022 CSI Predator U.S. Pro Billiard Series. This is the Arcadia Arizona Open being held at the beautiful Casino Sol in Tucson, Arizona. This is the first of six events scheduled for 2022. We have a full field of 64 players vying for a $75,000 prize fund. The CSI Predator Pro Billiard Series has a total prize money or fund of $775,000 for the season. These events are held alongside the CSI State Championships in Arizona, Wisconsin, Las Vegas, Michigan, Ohio, and Puerto Rico, with hundreds of BCA and USA Pool League members in attendance. The game is 10 ball and two races to four, and we've got a great match for you guys. We got Carlo Biato versus Jesus Atencio. And this is George Tehachan in the booth, joined by Mark White, bringing you the live action from Tucson, Arizona. Mark, how was your trip across the pond, buddy? Hey, George, it was a long swim, but it was well worth it. I mean, I was just sitting here while you were going through your little introduction, introduction. there. And I was thinking, how lucky are we? Sat here watching some fantastic pool all day long and so up it close to it. Getting better. I'm looking yeah. forward to this match yeah. so much. Folks, I am sitting with the official pool fanatic, Mark White. <laughs> and he just loves everything about it. And it's not what not to love. Here we are watching this uh, 23-year-old Venezuelan against this 37-year-old uh, Filipino. Both Predator-sponsored players going back and forth in a safety battle. But... Uh, the safety went in the drink. Yeah, that was a pretty ordinary scratch, really. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was on. You see that happen lots and lots of times. This gentleman here at the table uh, was our uh, runner-up last year here in Tucson. He also is the current and just finished winning the U.S. Open nine ball event. Yeah, beat Aloysius Yap, who was actually the winner of our final event. That's right, that's in right. In Ohio. And uh, Carlo was beaten by Feder Gorse from memory. Wasn't it Mario He that won the final event in Ohio? Oh, yes, sorry, I'm talking about Michigan. Okay. Michigan, Michigan, right. Michigan right. Yep. He did a great job there. But this gentleman here is one of the smoothest players. 821 Fargo versus a 771 Fargo. And as I said, uh, he's got that beautiful Predator P3 that he plays with. And uh, his opponent sitting in the corner... Ooh. Over there, you can take a look at that cue, and that's a Predator Black 4-5. Yeah, look at this. Awkward. How do you say this, George? Is he tree-topped? Is he... He's over a ball. He's, uh, he's on the rooftop? <laughs> we <laughs> say he's... I've heard rooftop, tree-topped. I've heard them all. He's over a ball. Have you heard hampered? I, ca I actually call this the safety in disguise. This is the picnic. You're hampered. Oh, what a great shot that is. Except when he's playing. Wow, that was a good shot. That was a great shot. Yeah. So, is he going to play this in the side? Let's take a look and see what is uh, what he tells us. Not easy to get on the. As six, you can see, course. he's sponsored by Kamui, which is actually one of our sponsors here. We are sponsored by uh, CSI Predator Alpha Crypto Kamui Cyberch.com, and. Um, Players are too. Do you like cross banking this past the nine? Yeah, That's there you go. It's That's where pretty he's going. tight by the nine. It is pretty tight. I think I played in the side, but he can't get on the six if he plays it in the side. And that's why he's playing yeah, it. Yeah, I like this. Look at this. I like this. I like this. You read this that a angle lot. perfectly. I like it. No, you don't. Yes. Now he's got a mass A to make the six. You think so? It looks like he has to put a little inside and catch the rail, maybe. Yeah, I'm just sat down the line of this now, just putting a little bit of... He can't go right at it. Right hand twist. Yeah, no, right. But see how he's elevating just a bit. They yeah. just kind of give it a little twist. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. And that's going to zip it up a and little those bit. Those shots of... just... Uh, they just flow when you shoot them like that. Gorgeous shot, wasn't it? Yeah, they are. Gorgeous good. Georges. Yep. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I watched this guy play so smooth at the Predator World 10 ball. I watched him play great at the... Uh, U.S. Pro Series in Las Vegas with that 128-person field. Uh, I tell you, it's just, uh, he's impressive. The Black Tiger from the Philippines. Yeah, and I was talking about Carlo Biado, how smooth he is. I mean, Jesus, was, I was watching Atencio. him warm up. Oh, 
He's wow. impressive to watch. He uh, he moves that cue ball oh. around with such ease. And um, it's going to be one zero, that, George. It's going to be one zero, and with that jump cue, of his uh, Jesus is deadly, deadly. In it goes. So the first blood to Mr. Biardo from the Philippines. So yet to see Jesus. And you know, I was doing again. I was doing the. He did. He broke first, right? He Biardo did, yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Biardo broke. Okay. Won the leg and broke. Just to remind you, it is two races to four. Carlo won the leg there, so breaks mm -hmm. the first set. But the second set will be broken first by Jesus. And there he's sitting there. I love his hairstyle he's got going. You like there, that little that. man bun? I bun love tie. that. Almost looks like like a like a Thai kickboxer kind of. Yeah. Or a bullfighter. But the but the Matadors had their little hat on. Yeah, I can't yeah, see. You can't see that. You can't see. You'll see the little bun behind it usually. Here we go then. Rack number two. Carlo once again. Both Breaking players the displaying the, just both. off. Yep. So trying to make what, either the one or the uh, sorry, the, either the nine or the three here. I would guess in the side. Inside oh, the right nine up. got kicked out the way. It was on its way. Almost went in the corner. Here goes the seven. Will it get there? Is the seven going to get there? Yes, gonna yes gonna get it just there. had a little twist of that tiny spin little on bit that, of spin. didn't it? As soon yeah. as it touched that rail, it, it <laughs> grabbed it. In it went. Yep, sure did. And look at this. I mean, okay, it's not ideal layout. Five's a little bit funny, as you All would right, say. I think you'll get up for the three ten. Yeah. Yeah, early tens do count. Well, oh, he's gone a bit. Where's he gone with this? Wow. For a ride. He caught an Uber there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think I might go ahead and two rail this two ball and put the cue ball behind the eight. I think that's what he might. No, I think he's No, he called this. the ball someplace. Yeah, he made a call. That just just because of the way that ball laid there, and it was tough to get down for the three, anywhere close to the three. Now look what he's done. He's left a great opportunity for uh, Atencio to either try to get on the three or just go ahead and, and, and go for the run out. He's, his angle drives him away from that 3-10 combo. Yeah, this, I was so watching him, how much was watching him yeah. practice this kind of shot mm -hmm. in the warm-up. He, he's going to stroke this in, maybe just float down, maybe even catch the four. There you go, floated like down that. perfectly. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see that roll over the spot and come over? It moved a little bit on the spot. That's hard to do with the spot. Anytime you put something on that cloth. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I know why you yeah, put them on there, there, but I don't like them on there. It's got to be on there. It's got to be, yeah. Uh, it protects the cloth. Well, still a little bit funny here. These guys are on a 30 second shot clock with a 30 second extension. They do have 60 seconds on the shot after the break to plan their attack, plan their defense or strategies. And that's the best time to do it. I think he's looking at the five, six carom after this. Stop the cue ball roughly where the four is now. I think that's what he was looking at. Could be wrong. He's going to look at it one more time. He's running. He, oh, he took his extension. Yeah, he's took the extension. Mr. Beato. Let's see how he plays this. I think he's played shaped up for the 5 6, George. <laughs> Guess he's called it. Well, he studied it. Let's see how he does with it. Oh, Didn't get it. it. Now then, what now, about this? If there's, I can't see what uh, about from the, the five, angle ten? on the screen. I like, oh, uh, he's not. He'll go for the run out. Yeah, goes, doesn't it? Oh, well, the, the 10, he could play the 10. I don't think he will. That'd I think the percentages the run are in the run out. It? Yeah. Won't even consider it. Like you said, I don't even think he glanced at it. No. <laughs> I think I could make this six, though. That's one of the few shots I'd bet money on.
So it's looking like 2-0 in the first set. The Arizona Open. Nice close-up of the, the reflection of the lights, the Predator lights up on top, the arena lighting. They've got one big nine-footer right over the table and then six of the seven-footers surrounding that one to give us some great lighting in this arena. You know how I liked to always really got a hold of that. That was a nice shot, wasn't it? Beautiful. I just, Look at this. I just, that's spinning. a beautiful shot. It just comes off that rail with such direction, such spin. It just makes it nice. We're going to take a break after this 10 ball and be right back. We are back with Carlo Biato to break the balls, leading 2-0 over his opponent, Jesus Atencio. You say that so well, George. Uh, proper training. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> but he's got a nice shot on the one ball, and he has not, he, he has not made a ball. No, There's five balls on there, and Jesus Atencio will try to take full advantage, trailing 2-0. Now, he likes to stroke and move the ball around. Will he draw that ball straight back and come up, come up before the seven for the tent for the two ball in the lower left hand corner pocket as you see your screen? If anyone can do it, he, he likes he likes, that, he likes those extreme draws. He likes to put that English on the ball. He's um, I don't want to use the word flashy, but he's just flamboyant. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's okay. He holds his hand up oh, to that, say that sorry. Oh, that bump helped quite a bit. <laughs> that bump helped quite a bit. Perfect example there, though, of what he can do with this cue oh, ball. Yeah. <coughs> Amazing. He cues it so well and just uh, he moves the ball around effortlessly. You know, several rails with the draw with whichever shot he wants to use. And we have got several tables in use here. Six in all. There's five outer tables. Nice. There's lots of games going on. We will bring you the scores of those when they start to materialise. I'm sitting here watching. I'm not sure that ball goes, but it looks like it does. No, he played the combo. Okay, that's why he was so intent on that shot. Yeah, controlled it well as yeah. well. Look, three ball right over the corner. Great shot. He'll come right back to about where he's at, just a little closer to the rail to get on the four well. And he'll come straight back for the five in the side. Then from there, it just opens up completely. It's just um, kind of like the rest of his game. 
Effortless. Yeah, what a talent. Seems effortless. What a talent this guy is. Great to watch as well. Great for the game, George. 23-year-old with a 771 Fargo. He's ranked 28 out of the 172 players that played the four events last year. He only played in two events of the four, and he was 9th through 16th here in Arizona and 5th in Las Vegas in the 128-player field. So, uh, yeah, it's some work. Here's that shot again, look low right on the cue ball. Side rail back out again, just mm -hmm. hold it up. Just that little twist of English, beautiful. His opponent is ranked 13 out of those 172 players with only two events. He was second here in Arizona last year and 17th in Las Vegas. So they both had two outings out of the four events last year and they both cashed in in both and they cashed pretty well. $3,800 to $7,750. Not a bad day at the pool hall. It's on the board. 2-1, yeah, and I know they say you never settle until you're on the board. You can be playing well, but until you've got that point, that rack on the board, it means nothing, right? I'm not going to settle till I win. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's referee John Lehman, also tournament director here. Yep. Does a lot of good work while he's around. And we've also got referees on the outer tables for this event. And normally, last year, it was players racking their own. But now, one of the few events in the calendar where the players actually have referees racking the balls for them. They're not allowed to look at the rack. They're not allowed to check That's the right. rack. Get down and break the balls. Let's play yes, pool. They don't want to hold things up. No. We are sponsored, folks, by Kamui, Alpha Cryptocurrencies, Seabirds.com. Of course, Q Sports International has the BCA and the USA Pool Leagues under their umbrella. And they hold uh, the big tournament in Las Vegas this March under the CSI Expo umbrella. Along with that, they're going to hold the women's tournament and wow. the three cushion world is the world cup of billiards yes yeah world cup of billiards that was a brilliant break from jesus here we see the replay look Popping how nothing the cue moves ball. most people that break they come up when they break when they deliver that stroke he's down on it all the way yeah and, and you his know cue what? ball is perfect you know what george um Tyler Steyer and also Feder Gorse now are adopting that approach. It's break. something that's being yeah. taught. Stay down. No more of this jumping up. It's so much more mm -hmm. accuracy when you stay down. Oh, I agree. I, uh, I don't play a lot, but I was playing recently and I was coming up on my break and my opponent said something. He says, you can always come up on your break. And I never really noticed. So then I stayed down and I started breaking mm. very well. Yeah. I think I even made a ball. Sorry. I would think you made a ball. <laughs> I, I, I did once, I think. I can't remember when, though. Nice hit by Carlo. Avoided a scratch it. in the corner. He called it. And is he going to get a bit of luck? Yes, he's not going to no. get Yes, he's not. <laughs> oh, he's look. Got, actually, this ball goes. I think it goes right between the four and the six to that corner. We'll soon. Oh, there we yeah. go. There's a. I don't think he can get to it though. Oh the no, he passes, can't. The five but he can't get to it. He's looking now at the the two four eight combo. He's looking at all sorts here. The only thing he hasn't looked at is the two well, ten. How much space is between the four? If he hits the very right side of the four, he might be able to make the eight. Oh, it threw. Did you see how that ball threw over? Threw over, yeah. yeah. It threw over to the side. And with that much space, I'm surprised it threw. There was close to an inch of space there. Having a little bit of a smile to himself. I tell you what, I wish I had his looks and I wish I had his talent. He wish he had his looks and his talent. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm happy being me. <laughs> well, you can develop the talent. <laughs> no, I guess you can't. You can develop the game. <laughs> I can't help you on the looks. You're only about, uh, you're a few years older than he is. <laughs> oh, to be youthful again, George.
There's something to be said for age, wisdom, experience, and life. And arthritis. And it's not all youth. <laughs> nice hit. Coming back over. Oh, that was a lovely little second nudge, but yeah. I don't think it's going to help him. Carlos thinking that was uh, Carlos thinking that was a lovely little sellout because I got a good shot now. Mm. Now will he go? All, well, he'll take the three-seven combo. I was thinking he might go all the way up for the three and play it in the lower corner, but why would you do that with that combo available? Sometimes I glance at the table and I oh hello. He said it it uh, skidded. Yeah, that's what he just motioned. Yeah. Certainly wasn't happy with that. It's called the the bank on the two I'm top right. At the cue ball. It looks like there's some spots on the cue ball. You see right by the that right in the middle there. Yeah, maybe yeah, might need a little wiping down. Maybe needs to have the yeah. cue ball cleaned here. Look at how nice he comes on this ten ball. What a nice pretty shot. A little bit of uh, billiard background will get you uh, tuned up for shots like that. Come off the ball and go two rails towards your object ball. He's going one rail here, I think. Yeah, he's got a nice line to the pocket right off, right behind this. Good solid hit. Yep. Needs a bit of luck. I thought he was going to get a bit of unlucky. Hasn't got any. So then chance well. now to play for the 3-7 already coming around looking at it this young this young man I believe is living in the Texas area I remember he had that big match against Tyler Steyer didn't he and beat yes, he Tyler did. <laughs> That's what over a year ago, wasn't it? Almost a year and yes, a half. Yes, yeah. It's the first real time I took a long look at him. Very impressed with him then. Oh, wow. And he's a nice young lad as well. He brings something up there that that's good. Yeah, he's actually eleven points higher than Tyler now. Was the Tyler spotting him at the time? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yes, he was. Wouldn't be doing that now. Uh, you would think not. <laughs> but Tyler has such a force with his break. He just, um, you know, with, with that kind of break, he just do so much. We'll probably go to a break right after he runs these three balls out. Let's see if he goes around this eight. Yep. And then over for the ten. Another predator oh, sponsored right. player, of course. Both. Yeah, both of them are predator sponsored. It's, he's got a beautiful cue he's playing with. It's a it's a black predator black four or five is what he told me with the Revo shaft. Mm -hmm. And his Revo has that little white. Uh, I forget what they call that. Not the right beginning. Feral. It's not a it's not a feral end, but they call it something else. They, uh, there's a name for it. I know because I have I have one that has the same same little. Plate, I think it's called, or some sort. Perfect, and it goes. Um.
Nick with Atencio breaking at a tight score of 2-2. Two to two. Speaking of his Revo shaft with the vault plate on it, the white vault plate, thanks to a couple of listeners that are uh, that happen to have my phone number, and they texted me. How do I like that? Smartest listeners in the group. Maybe I should ask how to make a million dollars, and somebody might text me the answer to that as well. Well, and I was dry just break. Look at the one ball. Look at this for a layout. Hanging up. Yeah. I was just informed by our referee and tournament director that the live scoring will be down for a little bit for those of you at home. So uh, it'll be back up soon, but it's going to be down for just a little bit. And you can find all the live scoring on the bracket, actually, if you just go to uh, probillardseries.com. And, and then just look. They have the tournament bracket. They have the YouTube, uh, which you're probably on, and the TV and bracket. The bracket has all of that information for you. I've never seen something like this before. It's the first time. And it looks fantastic. Very easy to use. I mean, all you have to do is read it. <laughs> of course, Doesn't I have, get problem, I have problems that. with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carlo just but, finishing a little bit short on that, having to take the bridge, but shouldn't be a problem. Four you know, ball waiting. You know, for the 50 point difference in Fargo between these two players, this match will be a lot tighter than Fargo would say it should be. Because that's 50 points, so we were we, we should be looking at uh, in a race to 80 would be somewhere along the lines of maybe two games on the wire, at least, with 50 points difference. And uh, team these two guys, I mean the talent that young man in the chair uh, has, and as Fargo where it is, uh, it's, as you can see, it's going to be a closer match than oh, oh, especially after something like that. Wow, what's he done there? You don't see that from Carlo. You see that from Carlo about twice a year. So it's early in January, so if he does it one more time, he's done for the year. Might as well get him out of the system. Yeah, look of, wow. ama look of amazement on all the players, yeah, all was. the fans in the, in the seats as well. Nobody was more surprised than he was when he hit that ball that bad. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can put it down to. That was a bad hit, wasn't it? And he's gone a little bit further than he wanted on this six ball as well, so he's going to have to use a couple of rails here, George. Unless he wants to just soft draw out, maybe, uh, for the he, seven? He might just softly draw it to the and, and get for, go for the corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was going to say, that, but, he, but he, likes to, he likes to move his cue ball around, so yeah. he's much more comfortable here. And actually, if you stop and think about it, there's a lot more room for error right there than that real soft draw. Because sometimes that soft draw, when you go through that ball with the cue, with the cue tip, it goes further than you want it to. So... Oh, I thought that was going to catch the corner of the side pocket. I really do like watching this young man play, though. Yeah. He's a joy to watch, and that's what Paul needs, a few more. He's, I, I think he's a bit of a character, you know. He's very charismatic. He's very quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. He's Doesn't very young. How old is he, did you say? 23. That's young, isn't it? You know, last yeah. year when he was here, we were having fun with uh, with the one of the, the, the brand-new Predator Air Rush, and we were jumping balls, and he was doing double jumps and just put on an exhibition with his jump shots. He's going to cut it to the side. I thought he would just roll it to the corner and move forward for the 9 in the left-hand corner and stop it for the 10. I think he's worried about the cue ball a little bit. I like just rolling into the corner. And uh, so does he now. Yeah. Ooh. Wasn't happy with that shot. It was a roll. He, um, I thought he played it strangely. I think cut it unsure. in the side or roll it was through. But I think he was worried about the scratch in the side, you know. That's why yeah. he put a little bit of low his face, on it. His face tells it all. He says, what did I just do? Make up your mind. Yeah, Carlo can't believe it. Got away with that bad miss himself. Mm -hmm. He had to come back to the table after that missing that five ball. He is surprised. Right in the heart of the pocket. Played it well. And that's a big game. In a race to four, this puts you on the hill. This young man, Jesus, could have easily been there. In this position, shooting this nine ball to the side with the ten ball to follow up.
Just a little waggling finger of Carlo Biardo. Strange bridge he has. Funny grip on the cue as well. T totally natural player. Well, if somebody said you can have that same uh, grip and stance and uh, funny action, would you take it? Yes, please. To play like that? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Carlo goes ahead, three to two in a race to four. Yeah. On the hill then in the first set, we are playing the race to four, two sets, and then, well, we've we've had three already. Shootouts, we've had three we've had three sets, three matches on this table, and we had three shootouts. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna up the that, percentage, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna lop, the percentage is gonna be lopsided. We were at a meeting last night and we were told that uh, the numbers from last year proved out that only thirty percent of the matches went to a shootout. And so having that information, we were kind of felt a little good about coming in here and be able to, to you know, tell you about that. And here we are, and uh, we've had three matches, and we've had three shootouts. Isn't that kind of like 100%? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but as we, well, well, let's just do this. With this scoring system, we can do this. There's been one, two, three, four. Eight shootouts. Oh, no, a break then. Well controlled break. But it's dry again. Seem, Out of 15 matches. Seem to hit them, so it's almost 50%. Today. It's almost 50%. Yeah. So, but yeah, great break well, there from Carlo. Popped the cue ball nicely. Center striking. Didn't make a ball. And now look at this. Jesus shot on the one. And actually, you know, when I think about the shootouts, not not to beat a dead horse here, but uh, it speaks to the talent <coughs> that we're watching. We've got quite a bit of it, and there aren't too many guys in this field that want to go down two matches to zero. Oh, look! I'm think I'm sure he thought he might get a, a little nudge on something there, and he's drawn past the he's... three ball. And he scratched in the side. Now, I've watched him play quite a few matches, and sometimes these little shots like that get away from him. And I was he's as surprised as I am to watch that scratch. Nice little combination of shots here coming up, George. Little sequence. Nice little stop shots here. Yeah, he uses the rail nicely there, doesn't he? To make sure he comes off and not too far and doesn't get behind the four. Jack in the box, up and down, up and down. Now he's comfortable. There's the funny bridge as well, look. With the thumb tucked in against the forefinger, rather than like that. It's coming in that way. No, didn't notice. Oh, right there. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I used to do it like that. Now he he's has doing the finger, in. look. Waving to us. Hi, Car Hi Carlo. <laughs> Little stray there, and he'd like to be, but he just kind of come over for the six right there. He's good to watch as well, isn't he, Carlo? Yes, he doesn't is. hang about. Nice. I do like simple movement. He fluid, doesn't really nice um, rhythm about him. Does the same every shot. One, two, three. Come back through the ball. It looks to watch him watch him play. It looks like he's choreographed it. Yeah. Like he's moving around an ice rink. A few twelves here and there. Uh, see how far off the rail he comes back. Not too far. He just probably wants to stay right about there. Yeah, just a little more angle to come straight down. Because if he stays up where, where the ball was, he'd have to go two rails forward and wouldn't like it as much. This makes it a little easier. It's coming down. That's beautifully played. Mm -hmm. I like the way he played that. And these Filipinos, they've all got that kind of thing. They look so relaxed, like they're not trying, but they are, of course. Mm -hmm. But just look so easy and eloquent around the table, elegant around the table.
Well, we are back with Mr. Atencio, breaking for the second set of this match, losing the first one to Carlo Beato, 4-2. to two. Omar Al Shaheen right behind Carlo. We've got great player after great player walking around, spectating, practicing with the amateurs. And we've got a break, dry break. Yeah, once again, dry. Carlo will see what he wants to do with this. He's going to shoot. Will he bring that cue ball over by the 8 9? Well, he tried a little bit short of pace though. Mm -hmm. Now, is he going to clip behind the four here, do you think, off the one? I kind of like that because of the fact that that six, that cue ball might hit the six and the six holds it up. And even if he doesn't get behind the four, he doesn't leave too much. Just coming around to have a look. That's where he wants mm -hmm. to be, right there. He might look at, you know, playing this ball over too. Wants it tight in between that. Yeah, see, just so important to get yeah. tight in behind that ball there, George. Yeah, he had to hit more ball than I thought, so to get where he's at. Yeah, so he's called the just in case, of course. Mm -hmm. He'll be happy with this. He'll be very yeah. happy with this, I think. Look Especially at this. Especially when it moves behind the seven. Oh, it hasn't Almost. gone. It hasn't gone behind no. it, I don't think. He's left the shot, but it's a very difficult one. Cue ball can miss the 10, though, here, George, I think. It will miss the 10, and the cue ball will probably go over towards that five ball. So he'll be going for this. And with just a little bit of influence, or just a little bit of left English, just a hair, you can catch the rail between the five and the deuce. Kind of like that. Oh, he's clipped it. Didn't want to touch that two yeah, ball. No, he didn't. Still, he made he made the shot though, and he's still at the table. Roland Garcia is in town. Roberto Gomez, Carlo Biardo, and Alex Pagulain, of course, we saw. He's in fact, sitting you there can see him now. right there, right behind Jesus, in that purple with that purple uh, case that you see. You don't see his head. There he is, yeah. Right to the left of the people sitting down there. That's Alex Pagalion and Nick De Leon. Gosh, I can name the whole. I can name the whole front row. <laughs> and that's just from looking at their legs, right? No, I can see their faces. <laughs> yeah, not on the screen. I had to look out. Oh, it's a oh good there hit. goes cue ball. Oh, where's the cue ball going? It's in. You know, uh, I just, I'm not real sure. It seems like he gets a lot of bad rolls on things like that. But if you stop and look at the shots, he's an aggressive player. And so I think the type of takes play. Takes more risks. He yeah. takes more risks. And yeah. so he plays riskier, so he pays the price more often. Yeah, perfectly summed up. That's it. Takes more risks than most. Mm -hmm. So more can go wrong. He took that difficult one ball on. It was a little bit unfortunate, you could mm -hmm. say, to hook himself on yeah. the two. Made they hit a the good two. hit had on the he, two. Had he not hit the two ball with the cue ball, he would have been in great shape. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit unlucky. They say fortune favours yeah. the brave, not always. Well, the brave usually take risks. <laughs> yeah. So more room for error. Nice little shot here. This is a typical Biardo yeah. shot, just float over. It just doesn't matter if he gets straight in or not here. But he does want to keep the cue ball off the rail, so. And that's just about perfect. Always looks like he's in a hurry, Carlo. There you see that thumb look, George, on the, on the bridge hand look, and the finger waggling away. Certainly not textbook stuff, but it works for for him well. in a great way. Nine US Open champion. Mm -hmm. You don't win that without having a lot of talent. Without having a good textbook, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> and 
Will on his way to win the first game of the second set. And like I think we spoke earlier, you didn't think it would go to a shootout. No, I didn't. I thought this might be the first game that won't, but who knows? Never say never at this. And it goes. So and one nil Biado, yeah. second set. First game does go to Carlo Biado. Just gonna have a quick look around so, this arena, George. It's the Arizona State Championships as well. We've got 47 foot bar box tables. We've got the six predator tables for this particular event. And we've got that lovely, um, the light, practice the predator table, light, we've got the practice yeah. table over there, a little booth table. They light up the whole arena here. And on the outside, you'll see six, uh, five lights out there. So uh, that equipment just works wonders out there. Kamui. Alpha, Seabirch.com, sponsors of this uh, CSI Predator Pro Billiard Series. Yeah, my first time I didn't make the event last year. There's Alex there we are. And who's that sat next to him? Jerry Mr. Seaman. And he had a great win earlier, didn't he, yes, Jerry? Yes, he did. I, in the shootout. He, uh, he kind of lagged in the set, but was able to get to the shootout and win it. Another big break there. From the eight. No eight. No eight. No nothing. Five. L zero with a shot on the one. Break's just not working for either of them, really. He's got to come down with the cue ball just past the nine. Not too much further. He definitely doesn't want to get on the other underside of this two ball. Where he has to send the cue ball up and back for the three. And that's what he's looking at. Is he trying to. He might even try to bump the nine here. He just wants to avoid the five and the nine. I think his speed will be great. So he used two rails. Ooh, this oh, is no. He looked at that and he's played that. Now we're going to see the jump shot. I mean, you spoke yeah. very, very highly about no, this guy's just jump watch ability. How just watch how he does with this. This is a very routine jump. I mean, he doesn't have to jump, but a, see it just a eighth of the ball. Wow, and look at that position Control. as well. Sure. Absolutely perfect on the three. He's brilliant with that jump cue. What an advantage it is, is to be able to jump that well. You know, and it not just really jump, is. You know, not just jump, but jump with accuracy, accuracy and get in the position as well. Terrifically yep. played that. What a great shot. Well, it's, it's, it's a great advantage to be able to play the jump, so, the, a, a jump shot with a jump cue with the control that you have with a regular cue. Yeah. That makes the difference. You know, you can follow, you can stun, you can stop, you can draw. Most people are just happy to jump. <laughs> You're yeah. much happier when they make it. <laughs> He's gone a little bit wrong. Called it a little bit fat, that one. He's a little straight in here, isn't he? I think, he, I think he's got just and a see, slight yeah, angle, but he's on the he rails. Rolls this in. I, I'm thinking how I would shoot this, and I would just roll it in. Well, I can't tell the angle. It looks Watch like this. he's got plenty of angles. Yeah, he's, he's come, coming he can across. Come over and back. Yeah. yeah, he's got plenty to come Straight over and back. Straight in, lovely. Now then, here's one of the shots he was practicing earlier. Deep draw, draw past the nine ball, come over and play the seven eight. Just watch the action on this cue ball, George. He might even come this side of the, the this side of the nine, just before the, the side, side pocket. Maybe, but he might even draw right past it. There. Yeah, look, yeah. just like that, mm. see? And he just was, like that, oh, see? Oh, he was playing that shot in practice earlier on so well. You know, watching this young man play, I, I, it just took me back a lot of years when I used to have a cue ball, and, and I, I came to the conclusion that my cue ball was uncontrollable. I wasn't controlling it. I was shooting shots like that and finding myself in positions like that and thinking to myself, you know, I'm, I'm moving the ball well. Yeah, but you're moving the ball dangerously. So. And of course, ball in hand meant Carlo had an easy 7-8 down for the 9. And it's going to be 2-0. Things starting to look a little bit grim for Jesus. But not quite far enough. No problem. Well, no. it is one to break format, and uh, no one has had a break and run yet that I recall. 
In fact, we haven't had, we haven't seen a break and run all day long. Oh, look at that lovely right-hand English. He had to check the cue ball mm -hmm. off the second rail. Beautifully perfect on the 10. This is going to be 2-0, and we're going for a break. We'll be right back, George. And we have the best viewers in life, Carlo Beato, to break. And I just made the comment that we hadn't had a break and run, and I was informed that it's possible that Carlo broke and ran a rack, maybe even two. And the reason I make that comment that I, there hasn't been a break and run is I normally circle my break and run, or the wins when they're a break and run in a score that I keep by myself. And I haven't circled any, so I guess I'm loafing on my scorekeeping, folks. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, so, uh, we've had a couple, if, and if we have, they've been by Carlo. Yeah, nice safety here, though. For Thanks for the info, guys. Or can he even cut this? No, I don't think he can. It's a safety, is it? Yeah, but he's lost the cue ball there. Uh, will the two ball come into play? The answer is yes. Yeah, he's got an edge, though. Yes, he does. He has an edge, and this is will pop. This will pop. Yeah. And if it does, he can beat it. Well, he has, has no other choice, I don't think. <laughs> well, if he plays his speed right, he's looking at it. It looks like he can hit the ball and lay the cue ball on the bottom rail. Go to the side rail and over. The A-10 will kind of help him block the, the one ball. And he's the pace to be right. I, oh, think, I think he, he might be able to get to it. Could have been a little hotter, harder. Yeah, I think the way he's looking at it, I think he can pot this, you know. I think he can make it. Yep, and he was able to pocket the ball. And once again, we're gonna see this lovely shot. Just draw back again. We might even just leave this not to might not try to do too much with this one particular one, George. Just he's going to do it again. He's going to move this ball around. Yeah, but he's not going to do it so much no. this time. Not take the risk like he did and last time. And that's, <laughs> that's the whole thing. You know, you start moving the ball around with with such speed that, you know, uh, those holes get pretty big sometimes. That's okay. Six is a little bit awkward could play it off the nine if he wanted to 
Well, he's going to get on the five to get himself an angle to do whatever he wants on the six. He's I'm probably just wondering, would you nudge out the nine here? No, I, nudging the nine out. Um, actually, you know what I might just do here is I might just go ahead and make it, make the five, and bank the six on the side. Yeah, that's yeah, what he I like. it out. That's, that's what I like. Yeah, that's even better. And yeah. Good suggestion. As I, I, as I come glance up with at that, one yeah, a day, one a day, George. <laughs> that's a vitamin, isn't it? <laughs> that's my nickname, <laughs> one a day. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like that, but I also like the going ahead and going for the bank because the cue ball, you give yourself the right angle, the cue ball naturally goes three rails oh, position for seven. the seven, and you're not in this position right here. Uh, can you stiffen up this bank? I think so. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about the seven. You're shooting the six yeah, ball next. Yeah. Sorry about that. Might guys. even use the nine here again. The nine is becoming a bit of a buffer ball, look. Doesn't want to get over. Oh, yeah, 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 see, yeah. I would have used the nine there. He's tried to come well, past fortunate. it. Fortunately, he can just slide down for this. Can he just get... I don't think he can get to the left-hand side of the cue ball, so he's going to be bridging over full ball. He's quite a tall young man, though, so... Yeah, but he still has to elevate. Anytime you're elevating, stuff happens. Yeah, played it at good weight. A little bit short, though. This isn't a gimme. If it's tight, it will help. We'll play this with just a little bit of left-hand English. Naturally taking him over for the nine. Yeah, played it well, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Played it very nicely. And it looks like he has... Is he dead straight? I think yeah? he's dead straight, the way he's looking. A little <laughs> wry smile from the, yes, from the young Venezuelan. He can and force it, a little bit of an angle, I think. Being dead straight here, I tell you, it's tough. Because you go to cheat this pocket, and there's not much to cheat. He was able to. Played it well. And he's he's okay on his line. That's a confident shot. It's going to be 2-1, George. He needs it to be 2-1. He wants to send it to a shootout. And we'll go right through this. John using the Predator rack. It's new on the market. Yeah, his nickname is Wing Ball John. Is that what his nickname is? Wing Ball John, yeah. They reckon he's the best racker in the business. <laughs> <laughs> well, Q Sports International, parent company of BCA Pool League and the USA Pool League. And they have their big expo in March, which has all their world championships for the BCA and the national championships for the USA Pool Leagues. In addition, they have, of course, the Diamond, the, not Diamond anymore, it'll be the Pro Billiard Series, 128-man uh, field, 120-person field, because ladies are allowed to play. And they'll also have the World Cup of Billiards, Yeah, and they were talking about me. maybe a couple of other tournaments under that same umbrella coming up. Uh, more information will be forthcoming probably by Wisconsin, because I believe we're going to Wisconsin after this tournament in mid, second week of February, I think it is. Yes, yeah, the 9th of February. Okay. Yeah. Nine ball going, four rails almost going. But he has made a ball, though. And he's got a shot. He's looking good here. He's got a shot on the two ball as well here. Yep, he'll just put a little draw on this ball. Avoid the eight. Yeah, knowing him, he might even just draw right over to that rail. Well, he might be want to be on that rail so he can come yeah. down here for this four. Yeah. But what do you do once you come down for the four? Hope. <laughs> you don't hope in this game. <laughs> Not if you want to win. You plan. And if your plan isn't the right one, you find a different plan. And you never plan to do that. And there you see, he was trying to force the cue ball over. He was trying to force an angle that he didn't really need, to be honest. He could have just, you know, he could have been over on this rail anywhere and he would have been That's okay. That's why I, he, uh, it didn't really matter where he put the cue ball. There's not much he can do with the four. He's got to figure something yeah, out. Yeah, maybe a little bit of inexperience there, maybe. I don't know. Maybe wasn't thinking clear, hadn't made up his mind exactly what could shot well to play, maybe. Makes sense. Take the bank and stop the cue ball there for the he's three. He's going to be in trouble here, though, after this. Oh, he's taking the bank. Sure. 
that's, that's the worst kind of trouble when well, your opponent makes you know, the ball. That bank right there, I, especially with Derby City coming up, <laughs> everybody's practicing that bank. <laughs> bank pool player eats those up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and a couple snacks in between. You play a bit of bank Let's pool, That's how he plays this four. Oh, he's come between this to play the nine, look, has he? Is that Beautiful what he played? Shot. Beautiful shot. He may play this in the top yeah, left. I think you like to you like to be on the rail, so you could play it in the top left. Um, I think you go ahead and play the nine here. Like or do you just play safe behind the five? You draw it straight down, hit the A ball with the four ball, and bring the cue ball behind the five. Yeah, I think he's playing that, George. I think you just called it right. As I look at the way the balls lay, see how easy it draws back. Oh, he's, he's going to bank the four. So, uh, yeah, he's a clever shot. Good two-way. Yeah. He'll be by the six with the cue ball. There, that's clever. If he yeah, misses the four, he's he hoping to get the cover on the six, but he hasn't got anywhere near the bank. Nope. Now, this is cuttable. Yeah. And you just point in there, you see. He wanted to hold that cue ball by the six. Yes, he did. Because if he draws it back behind the five, he has no shot on the five. So it makes sense to use the six ball and get straight in on it. But does it go by the ten? It doesn't matter. I mean, we're talking about banks. Does he bank this one in the corner? Uh, I think he cuts this ball. Lots of waving of the cue. I think he's cutting he's it. He's, again, undecided. Yeah, he's cut it, but he hasn't and got enough pace on it. And that's why he's undecided. Because... And it showed in the shot once again, you know, this is the second shot in a row he's paid well. I don't think he had a real plan. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe he was planning to hit the six and or hit the five, one or the other. Because he, he, yeah, he kept the cue ball on the right line and he yeah. got right between both of them. And it didn't do him any good to avoid both of them. It certainly didn't look as if he played it with enough pace to try and come back across twice either. So exactly. I think you're right there, yeah. Wow, Overcut that's a it. crazy shot. Overcut it. Wow. He's getting a little desperate. When you're shooting shots like that, you're getting a little desperate, in my opinion. Yeah, I think he's just lost a bit of focus in his last few shots. I think he's focused. I just don't... Uh, I think he had to just take a little break and slap himself in the face a couple of times. and Maybe impetuous is a, is a good word. A, I, don't, I don't know the meaning of that word. <laughs> <laughs> impetuous. I know it's not good. It's just no, it's still like a youthful thing, you know, where you're just trying to force That's something right. when it's not really I, there, you know? Yeah. And this is Biardo territory. This this is a shot he plays so well. This is to go ahead, three to one in that race to four. Jesus has to get this to a shootout. He's got to find a way to get back to the table. Down three to one, more than likely, because uh, it would take an earthquake to keep this man from running these four balls. No, he's a little we've bit straight on this. He just held seen, it up there. Yeah. We've only seen one mistake from him, really. One really bad mistake or bad miss. Yeah. A five ball that he missed poorly. That was one of the two a year. That's right. He mentioned. That's right. So we're guaranteed, I would think, not to see another one in this particular match. No, we shouldn't. And this is perfect. You'll need the bridge here. He's, he's got a reach. It's on the floor, look. He's looking does he have bridge. an extension? There it is. See, uh, here's where your extensions come in handy, folks. You mean for the queue or the time? For the queue. And the time. <laughs> I'm sure he has an extension for that Predator queue. But when you can use a bridge like he does, yeah, it matters it really not. Really well. Played it nicely. It is going to be 3-1. Oh, wow. wow. Well, there's his two for the year. Well, I guess he's not going to miss another ball the rest of the that year. That is unbelievable. Do you know, it reminds me of that eight ball we saw Albin Ocean miss earlier. I mean, how often do you see Albin miss a ball no. like that? Well, let's see what this young man says. Let's see if he's aggressive. or. Well, what do you think is easier, the safety? The banks. The, the bank? banks as, as, as hard as the safety is, so you might as well go for the, for the shot, I think. Carlo just... What the heck did I just do? 
Open the door, so you did. called for an extension there, so he's going to have a little bit of more. He's open the door to let this. I like this bank. He's called the bank. Yeah. Top right, right hand corner. Yep. He's called it. I George. think he, either pocket. He's free to go to either pocket. They're both good. Yeah, I think just slight favourite is the one he's called, as you said, top right. As we look, as you look on your screens. Here we go. He's putting everything into this one, and he needs this to go in. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to go in like that, is it? No. Nope. No. Oh, what a chance now, then. Well, that was the kind of shot that I think David Al-Qaeda Al made one of those uh, in one of the big tournaments he played in last year. But it's still going to take him down. Three to one, I believe. We'll go to a break after this 10 ball and be right back. back to the live action Carlo to break for those viewers on following the stream on YouTube hope you enjoyed those little uh, commercials with the players all the players are, most of those guys that you saw on the screen are here right now you know a little having fun after hours and on the side I thought that was a that's life. what you're missing I that was a live yeah, commercial yeah. <laughs> right. Carlo to break the balls to win the second set and take the match it's another dry one. Walks away man, in disbelief. <laughs> this young man has a lot of work to do. He needs to rattle off three games. Can't afford to lose a game. Not for this match. He does not want to go to the one loss side. Although, in this tournament, there's a stage two. And uh, if you're going to lose, you want to lose now. Or before you get to the final 16, because the final 16 players go to a single elimination. Wow, he played right across that one. I sat and right behind his arm. Sell right out to. Oh, the six ball comes up a little. Did it come up enough? I think it goes. You know, this two, uh, the one ball. I think it passes the six. Yeah, this tournament is double elimination till you get to the final 16. Then the final 16, they redraw, and uh, they go to single elimination. Yeah, he's not sure. Look. He can't quite see. It's a tough shot. He doesn't have much room. It looks like it goes by, but these are four and a quarter inch pockets. Got the extension. So he's had a little bit more longer to look at this. Yeah, he's going to have to hit this very accurately. 
Oh, he played the combo. Either Did shot, the combo or the one. <coughs> I think they were both about the same degree I, of difficulty. I tell you what, I thought there was a little bit of a kick on that, a little bit of a skid. Mm. I thought I it sounded a little bit funny to me, that, that ball. It you know, sounded a little bit funny? Yeah, it sounded a little bit yeah. heavier. And there we go. A little more spin on that. He's got the right, if he can cue the ball, I think he can with right low. He can go between the 9-7. Or right between the 7-4, actually, towards the side pocket. This is a shot he plays so well, you know. He went up and over, okay. Wasn't sure which, he likes to use a lot of English, so I thought he might just go ahead and kind of pinch draw that between the, underneath the 7, but nope, he went up. Yeah, and just, down. Just drag this in, George, now over for the four. Very nicely played. Probably played this in the corner. Well, right? he's thinking, I got to get out, I got to get out. Let's just hope it's not too little too late. Seems to have quickened up a little bit now. Well, he seems to be showing a little more determination. No. That little bun on the top of his head is perfectly in line with his cue when you watch that next, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll look for it. It might be a naming system. <laughs> well, that could be, huh? <laughs> kind of like the sights on a rifle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, his aiming system, his bun must be off to the right. Yeah, he needs to recalibrate. Mm-hmm. Recalibrate the bun. And that will more than likely cost him the match and send him over to the one lost side. But we won't count our chickens before they hatch. We'll just go ahead and watch Carlo go to work. You see Not that much explained here. Look. It's just a nice little four ball pattern. Stop, stop, stop. Well, stop, stop, draw. <sighs> Was up a little bit quick as well. Almost missed it. And that's just about perfect drawback. Mm -hmm. As you said, stop, stop, draw. Every once in a while they come out right, don't they? Yep, and it's going to be game over. And this is for the match, and we'll be back <coughs> shortly with a, uh, is it Torsten and Corey Duell? Great match, gentlemen.